Another quick tip video on where to get the best weapons in Cyberpunk 2077. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to get the legendary Mantis Blades completely for free in Cyberpunk. This is really easy to do and you can do it very early on in the game. Despite what the game suggests to you, it's not tied to any big side quests or the main story at all. And getting a legendary set of Mantis Blades like this for free is way better than spending over 20,000 eddies on buying them yourself. Now, if you didn't know, the Mantis Blades are a stupidly fun melee weapon to use. If you haven't tried them yet, even if you're not playing a melee build, I recommend having a go with them. If you hold down the attack button with them, you can actually leap at your enemies from over a mile away. Or at least that's what it feels like. And then it gives you a huge boost in damage, allowing you to assassinate them or one hit kill them immediately. You literally pick them up on your blades, skewering them in the air. As you guys can see, the legendary Mantis Blades we're going to be grabbing do 400 damage a hit and attack 2.5 times per second. So you can hit about 1000 damage per second with these weapons. And I've not invested in any of the blade attack speed or damage increase perks at all. They also have a 20% chance of making enemies bleed. But to be honest with you, it never really comes into effect. Now there is also a way to increase the damage the Mantis Blades do even further. But I'll talk about that after I show you guys how to get them yourself. Now these legendary Mantis Blades can be found here in Night City. And it is a little bit of a maze to actually find it. You're going to need to come over here on the map to the city center. Once you arrive, look for, you know, the city center itself has like a roundabout just here. So zoom into that roundabout, you'll see a road going to the northwest here. Come down that road and then just to the right here, you'll see like this point basically. That's the location you're going to want to start at. You'll then see this exclamation mark to the left. It may not yet be there for you guys, but you can still come and check the location yourself. Either way, I'm starting from this T-junction just here. So as you guys can see, we are in the location itself. There's a big yellow building with 09 on it and a big black building over there which says Night City on the front of it. To just cross the road, you'll see the Night City Center of Behavioral Health. You're going to want to come down this pathway to the back here. Hey. Now you'll get a call from Regina who will warn you about a cyber psychopath in the area. Now this is basically a secret boss battle which is very hard difficulty at low level. But don't worry guys, you don't need to fight this guy. Now I recommend saving the game just here. You can just run in there, grab the guaranteed loot. It's always 100% chance of legendary mantis blades spawning here no matter your level i've checked on multiple characters at different levels they always spawn here so so you essentially just want to run in grab the mantis blades and run back out again there's also a bunch of high level loot that will spawn in this box just run over to this box and then you can pick up the legendary mantis blade now most of the contents of this will be random but there's some epic items in here for me and also the Mantis Blades. They will be in here no matter what. No matter what level you are in the game, they're going to be inside here. So go ahead and grab those. And obviously, if you like, you can take care of this guy. You don't need to. You can just run away because you can grab this at any level. Now, I'm level 26 and this guy hits me for around half my health. So do take care. Now, before I show you guys how to do even more damage with these legendary Mantis Blades, I've had so many questions about people who don't understand how you actually install cyberware in your character. It's actually really easy. All you need to do is find a Ripper Doctor because you can't do it yourself. So let me show you how to do that. So it's really easy. All you need to do is zoom into the map and then have a look around for these symbols a pair of scissors this is a ripper doc you can go and see victor if you like but he won't actually work on you unless you've already paid him back for the work he did at the start of the game so once you've gone to any ripper doctor you could just go ahead and speak to them and ask them for a new implant new chrome. then i think you'll come to the right place now that open up this menu and you can now install your own cyberware if you go ahead and click on your arms which is just down here then you'll see all of the options that you can implement in your arms, specifically the legendary Mantis Blades that we just got for free. Just click on that. And now you have your Mantis Blades equipped in your character and you can go ahead and use them. 
Now to do even more damage with your Mantis Blades, you're gonna to want to go to the Cyberware tab just below your inventory, and then go ahead and click on the Mantis Blades themselves. And you'll see it comes up with a bunch of mods. Because these Mantis Blades are legendary quality, you can basically stick in three different types of mods, which means you can continuously upgrade this weapon throughout the game and use it, you know, you don't need to use another weapon basically. Currently, for example, the blade installed in this Mantis weapon is only a rare mod. And as you can see by looking at the stats, it says that mod makes it do 140 more physical damage. But you can install even more mods here. So what I recommend doing to get more mods is either killing robots or just go around all the ripper docks in town and trade with them to buy some more mods specifically for the mantis blades and that's pretty much how you do it guys guys please do drop a like if you found the video helpful i've got a whole weapon list link below of all the best weapons you can get in the game i'm literally making two videos a day about all the cool weapons i find for you guys and i've had so many questions about this one so i just thought i'd make you guys a video but honestly check out the playlist below if you want even more weapons to find like the sniper rifle that does over 10,000 damage